is Channel 18's Action News. Central Kentucky's most comprehensive news report. Good evening, I'm Ken Gullett. About 70 State Human Resources Department employees are circulating a petition saying working conditions at Eastern State Mental Hospital here in Lexington are unsafe. 18 Action News from Lexington, the heart of the bluegrass for all Central Kentucky. Good evening, everyone. You may not have noticed, but the operator answering your call for assistance today no longer works for Mall Bell. You're watching WLEX TV Lexington. Now, noon today. Central Kentucky's most important news and information at noon with Sue Wiley and Tom Kenny. You're watching WLEX TV Lexington. Now. 18 News Nightside. Tonight's news with Mindy Shannon, Mike Berry, Brian Collins Weather, and Alan Cutler Sports. Good evening. Middlesbrough has finally been declared a state disaster area. You're watching WLEX TV Lexington. This is Channel 18 News. Today's news with Bonnie Crasset and Gary Johnson. Now, 18 News, live at 530. WLEX TV, Lexington. This is Channel 18 News. Mindy Shannon and Jim Bailey with today's news. Brian Collins weather. Head on sports, Alan Cutler. Now, 18 News, live at 6. Good evening. There is still no sign of a Lexington businesswoman who has been missing now since Friday. From Central Kentucky's 18, your all-day news source. Good evening. Here's some of the stories we'll bring you at 11. Some anxious moments tonight. You're watching WLEX TV 18. You're watching WLEX TV 18. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Kenny. And I'm Robin Rabbit. You're watching WLEX TV 18. You're watching WLEX TV 18. company wants to bring new jobs to Rowan County, but some residents say, not in my backyard you don't. And a word of warning for parents who have baby walkers. What's designed to help may actually hurt your baby. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to 18 Action News at 11. I'm Nancy Cox. I'm Tom Kenny. We'll have more on those stories coming up. You're watching WLEX TV 18. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kentucky Sunrise. I'm Lee Searcy. It is now 6 o'clock on this Wednesday, August 13th. Hello, everybody. I'm Beth Pugh. And I'm Michael Brooks. Happy Wednesday morning to you. You're one 18. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Kenny. And I'm Melanie Glasscock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Melanie Glasscock. And I'm Tom Kenny. Now, from WLEX, with coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at Sunrise. Good Thursday morning. Wow, what a beautiful shot of downtown Lexington. That picture, of course, thanks to the... You're watching Central Kentucky's number one source for morning news, LEX 18 News at Sunrise, with Dia Davidson.
meteorologist Tom Eckerman, and Lee Cruz. LEX 18 News, coverage you can count on. Now, from WLEX, with coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 5. Ten years after being accused of killing her husband and burning down their home, a Lexington woman is indicted again. That's tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 5. You're watching LEX 18 News at 5 with Melanie Glasscock, Michael Brooks, and Chief Meteorologist Bill Mack. LEX 18 News. Coverage you can... Now, from WLEX, with coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 5.30. Good evening, I'm John McGarry. And I'm Tracy. We're watching LEX 18 News at 5.30 with Tracy Cornett, John McGarry, Chief Meteorologist Bill Mick, and Ryan Lemon with sports. LEX 18 News, coverage you can count on. Now, from WLEX, with coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 6. And good evening, I'm Richard Long. You're watching LEX 18 News at 6 with Nancy Cox, Kevin Christopher, Chief Meteorologist Bill Mack, and Ryan Lemon with sports. Now, from WLEX, with coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 11. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at sunrise. A Clark County high school is closed following a chemical spill Thursday and alleged bomb threats lead police to search a Paris school. Get the latest in these stories and so much more straight ahead on this Friday. Finally, everybody. November 4th. Good morning, everybody. I'm coming up on LEX 18 News at 5. A mercury scare puts a Clark County school on lockdown. We're live with the latest. Someone tried to torch a Paris school bus, then threatened to bomb the schools. We'll have the details. Will a Boyle County jury believe a businessman who says he had no intentions to kill three people? The Kentucky parents accused in their baby's death return to the state to answer to a judge. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 5. A scare involving a dangerous chemical forces a central Kentucky school to go on lockdown. Coming up on LEX 18 News at 6. The crime tape is gone, but the investigation continues in Anderson County after a woman is found dead in her home. 18 months ago yesterday, Megan Liebengood was gunned down in her apartment parking lot. Today, her accused killers await their fate by a jury. Still thinking about coming and watching the Cats play? We're taking you around True Blue, Philadelphia. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 6. up on LEX 18 News at 11. A father admitted killing his son, leaving him in a hot car, but the Lexington man won't be in jail too much longer. Their child is still missing, but today they took responsibility for her disappearance. They're off, not the horses, but the balloons, lighting up the night sky over the Derby City. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 11. Coming up on LEX 18 News at 5. A friend finds an elderly couple shot to death inside their home. Now police are looking for answers. With the LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast, we do have a tornado watch up across the northern part of Kentucky. More showers and thunderstorms are developing to our southwest. We'll show you where they're headed, what you can expect this evening. And that's all coming up. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 5. Authorities try to unravel a mystery following the discovery of two bodies in a Scott County home. That's tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 5. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 6. There's been an arrest in an afternoon shooting on... With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News Evening Edition. 
Welcome to LAX 18 News. I'm Dia Davidson. It's 7 o'clock and Evening Edition starts now. Count on LEX 18 News. State police continue the hunt for the armed man who robbed a Richmond gas station. Plus, a Lexington murder suspect arrested over the weekend set to appear in court today. And a former Wildcat threatened with fines by NFL officials for his pair of cleats commemorating 9-11 victims. It is Monday, September 12th. LEX 18 News at Sunrise starts now. Good morning. There we are. Good morning, everybody. It is 430 on this Monday morning. Chris and Haley here. We appreciate you joining us for Sunrise. Count on LEX 18 News. The big story at five. An argument between roommates is being blamed for a murder in Clark County. LEX 18 News at five starts now. Count on LEX 18 News. Grief on the Kentucky State University campus after a football player is gunned down in California. A lengthy prison sentence handed down for a Madison County woman convicted of torturing a young girl. And police in Wayne County say they are very concerned about a man who's been missing since last month. LEX 18 News at 530 starts now. Good evening, I'm Angie Bevan, in tonight for Nancy Cox. And I'm Kevin Christopher. Count on LEX 18 News. We're live from the scene of a terrible crash in Mercer County involving three vehicles. Meanwhile in Frankfurt, a driver is critically injured in an accident involving a bus full of students. And police have arrested a man who they say escaped from a Georgia prison more than 30 years ago and has been living in Kentucky ever since. LEX 18 News at 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Kevin Christopher. And I'm Angie Bevan in for Nancy Cox tonight. Count on LEX 18 News. Right now on Evening Edition, a jury decides the fate of a man accused in a Lexington murder. Amidst the mourning for the Orlando shooting victims, the city also deals with the tragic death of a toddler snatched up by an alligator. And new tonight, a twist in the case of the man arrested with weapons and explosives in advance of a gay pride parade. LEX 18 News Evening Edition starts now. Good evening, I'm Angie Bevan. And I'm Michael Burke. Thank you for joining us tonight on Evening Edition. Count on LEX 18 News. Scary moments as the deck gives way, sending party goers crashing to the ground. That's tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 11. LEX 18 News at 11 starts now. Good evening, I'm Nikki Burdine. Thanks for joining us. Count on. Coming up at 430, a woman is in a hospital this morning after a fire tore through her Lexington home overnight. The very latest, plus two robbery investigations underway in Lexington this morning. Police believe they could be connected. And highlights of the UK basketball team's second exhibition game of the season benefiting charity. LAX 18 News at Sunrise begins right now. Good morning, everybody. Happy Halloween on this Tuesday, October 31st. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Haley Harmon. And I'm Chris Goodman. Let's see how it's looking for trick or treat tonight. Count on LEX 18 News. Overnight snow and ice create slick driving conditions on central Kentucky roads. Plus, thieves target the food supplies of a Knox County homeless shelter. And Lexington police have opened a homicide investigation after a teenage shooting victim dies. LEX 18 News at Sunrise Weekends starts now. Good morning, thanks for joining us. It is Sunday, January 20th, and make no mistake, it is January outside right now. Count on LEX 18 News. Right now at noon, a Kentucky man has drowned on vacation at a North Carolina beach. A Bourbon County inmate dies while in jail. And funeral arrangements set for a veteran killed in a weekend crash in KC County. LEX 18 News at noon starts right now. A very good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dia Davidson. And I'm Chris Goodman. Thank you. Count on LEX 18 News. A Kentucky man's trip to the ocean took a tragic turn when he went under and never came back up. Decades after one of Central Kentucky's most shocking murder cases, a convicted killer is sharing her story from behind bars. And a Kentucky town is doing everything possible to be ready to become the most popular tourist spot in the solar system. LEX 18 News at 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Kevin Christopher. And I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us at 6. Count on LEX 18 News. 
Tonight we're expecting some dangerous road conditions because of winter weather. We have a live look at the roads here. Plus, a Lexington homeless shelter is in need of more donations because of the forecast. And a Northern Kentucky high school is in the national spotlight after some of its students were shown in a video apparently mocking Native Americans at a rally in Washington. LEX 18 News at 11 starts now. Good evening to you. I'm Kylan Mills. Thanks so much for joining us on LEX 18 News at 11. Come on to the bear,